Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. And in today's episode, we're going to speculate a little bit on the upcoming update. So the format of today's video to make things interesting and fun will be 25 things I don't see coming in the next update, followed by 9 things I do see coming in the next update. So there's so much misinformation out there, guys. Whether it be quote unquote leaks that I've seen on Reddit in the Clash Royale forums or just speculation, it just seems like there's so much whirling around out there in anticipation for what should be coming hopefully soon. I mean, the last update that we've seen in Clash Royale was the update where we added the new cards, the Bowler, the Log, Lumberjack, and Ice Spirit. It's been a while. It's been a few months. This is the longest period that we've went without an actual content update in Clash Royale, obviously setting aside the balance changes. So in anticipation of this new update that should be coming pretty soon I mean a lot of people are saying mid to late September I kind of if I had to make a wild guess I would guess a little bit closer to uh, early or mid October but who knows all I know is they kind of rushed out the original tournament feature into the game and they were very unhappy with it uh, when I say they I mean the Clash Royale team obviously so I think they're gonna be extra careful make sure they have all their ducks in a row making sure whatever new features they add to the game or whatever new uh, content they add to the game, it's perfect or as close to perfect as they can possibly get it this time ahead of time rather than having to go back and fix it afterwards, kind of like they've been doing trying to patch up and repair the tournaments ever since they introduced them to the game. So in today's episode, we're going to start out by listing 13 things that are definitely not coming in the upcoming update, and then we're going to speculate on 13 things that I think might be coming in the update. Now, I should give you a quick disclaimer. None of these things that, well, the things that have been ruled out have been ruled out so I'd be shocked if we saw any of those things added in the next update. The things that I'm going to speculate on, a lot of them have been mentioned by the official Clash Royale Twitter account or the official Clash Royale Reddit or uh, the forum account. So there's been a few sources kind of dropping hints here and there so I thought I'd kind of collect them and, and, and provide a nice little aggregation of everything that we can kind of speculate on together. So that's what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and start with the things that are definitely not coming. So these ideas on the screen right now have been ruled out by the Clash team. You can see number one are more chess slots. They've said they're very happy with just having four chess slots. And as we move on here, you can see the top four all have to do with chess. Number two is the ability to open more than one chest at a time. Well, wouldn't that be nice, but they have no intentions of adding that. Number three, any idea of trashing chess, which I actually really, really like that idea, but they've said they will not be adding that. Uh, number four, Merging chest, another different variation on the whole uh, trashing chest or having some more autonomy as a player to be able to merge or trash chests. They said they're very happy with the chest system in terms of the four chests, the daily chest, as well as the crown chest system right now. No big plans to make any changes there. Now, obviously, the tournament chest, well, that could be subject to change depending on the new tournament system that they implement into the game. So uh, let's go ahead and move right along. Number five. The win rate percentage on a player's profile, a lot of people have been asking for that because obviously the number of total wins doesn't really mean a lot unless you can see the number of total losses as well. A uh, little side story here, a little digression. When I started playing the game about a year ago now, uh, way before even beta came out, uh, they allowed us to test it. Actually, when I went over there for, uh, for ClashCon, it was at that time only a company build. And at that time in the game, they actually had way more players player stats on your individual profile. They had a whole win-loss record as well as your win uh, rate percentage and, and stuff like that. So they have that information, of course, but I guess they can only assume they want players to uh, focus on the positive, aka the wins, rather than the negative, aka the losses. So moving right along, new skins at number six. So no troop skins as they upgrade. Kind of like in Clash of Clans, as you upgrade your troops, sometimes they look a little bit different. They look a little bit more uh, badass and if for lack of a better word, when you upgrade them higher and higher, they don't have any plans of adding that right now. However, I think that would be really, really cool to add in the future, uh, specifically even maybe with legendary cards or epic cards, or maybe reverse it and make it just commons at first. I don't know. The reason I say to uh, kind of make it one specific type of card if they were ever going to do that is because I know it's an incredibly big task for the art team on the Clash Royale team to actually come up with new skins for troops. So uh, they'd probably have to start 
start with, uh, you know, small segments of troops at a time. I really like that idea, but it has been ruled out, at least for this coming update. So, selling cards is number seven. Obviously, they don't promote any kind of resource sharing in Clash of Clans. In selling cards for any sort of gold per card, or even trading, like, cards per chest, all that stuff has been ruled out. They really want to have a simple economy in the game when you start adding too many variables. It gets a little bit too complex, so that has been ruled out. Uh, donating epics and donating legendaries, that's eight and nine. That's something that they're not planning on adding to the game, so they have told us that there will be some changes to legendary cards coming up. We're not sure quite what they will be, but let's wait till we get to that list before we speculate. Number 10 is the surrender option. Right now, you just have to kind of uh, close your app if you want to surrender, and that's the way it's going to stay. They don't plan on ever adding a surrender button into the game. That's kind of obvious. They don't want people to abuse that, and uh, it becomes much easier to win trade that way. And on top of that, they want people to see these matches out and finish the matches that they're in. They don't want people immediately quitting once one tower is down, and the ability to quickly surrender would definitely increase the amount of people that quit matches, so they don't want that in the game. Number 11, a draw split. Essentially, if there is a tie in a match, people, people want to split trophies instead of having to both walk away with zero trophies. A lot of players have suggested, why not just split the trophies? That's a great idea, but they have no plans on adding it right now. And uh, two different cards here they have no plans on adding to the game. Number 12 is any sort of a wall card, building walls uh, to block your lanes or protect your towers. No plans on adding any sort of a wall card. And number 13, a heal card. There's no plans on adding any sort of a heal card. I actually talked about this a couple of videos ago, but essentially they said they play tested heal cards, either a troop that heals or a spell that heals. The last time I talked to the Royale team, which was actually a, a month or two ago, so it's been a while since I've actually talked to the team about this, but they said that when they play tested heal spells in the game, it actually got really, really cloggy and, and, and these troops would last forever because you could keep them healed a long time and it actually made matches last a long time. You might think it'd be the opposite, but matches seemed to last absolutely forever because no troops were dying. Instead, everyone was just keeping up with the heals and countering each other's troops when they play tested. But hey, who knows exactly? I wasn't there in the room, but they said that it just does not work when you apply the heal spell into the game as it currently stands. We'll have to wait and see. Who knows what they might have up their sleeve for the distant future, but this is what they've definitely ruled out for now. Now, I do want to share some additional ruled out uh, beyond these 13. These are things that they haven't 100% ruled out of the game right now, but they have said they're not currently working on and they're very popular suggestions. So let me bring these up on the screen right now. So as you can see, the probably not coming list. Number one are new achievements. So probably no new achievements coming anytime soon. Number two is TV Royale changes. They're pretty happy with TV Royale right now. It has a pretty healthy mix in Legendary Arena of top 100 players and then just average players who are in Legendary Arena and they're pretty happy with having the TV Royale uh, kind of highlight uh, showcase matches throughout the other arenas as well. Number three, Arena Rewards. So essentially, okay, you just got to Arena 9 and here's a princess card for you. Stuff like that, which I actually think would be an awesome idea to increase the availability of legendaries for free to play players. If you got to Legendary Arena, you're awarded a random legendary card or a super magical chest or something like that. To me, that sounds like a great idea, but they've said that it's currently not in their plans. Uh, number four, daily quests. So daily quests right now is a popular request as well, and that it looks like also is not going to be added to the game. Number five, naming your deck. They have decided not to allow players to name their decks, at least right now. Number six, donate more cards, something that they're uh, definitely looking into for the future, but right now with the recent addition already on donated cards, they're pretty happy with how things stand there. Number seven, see who is online. You can see how many players are online, but you can't see who is online. That's not something that they intend to add. Uh, number eight, longer clan mails. Uh, no bueno, according to the Clash Royale team. They think they're uh, they're long enough as is. Number nine here, clan wars. That would be really, really cool. And I think there might be some big features added to the game at some point, but certainly not right now. They're trying to get tournaments fixed right now. Maybe down the road, we'll start seeing a bigger feature like Clan Wars or something like that added to the game. So number 10, this is a very interesting idea. A lot of people are requesting river cards. So something you can place near the bridge or create an additional bridge, allow another lane essentially to open up or a card that can be placed 
in the river, some sort of a defensive card or something like that, or a structure even that comes out of the river. Uh, a lot of requests for something to do with that river in the center of the map, but there is no plans right now to add anything to that uh, to that regard. Number 11, damage over time cards. They don't plan on adding another card that adds a damage over time feature similar to a poison spell. Uh, they don't plan on adding a card with that ability right now. I imagine it's for the same reason of the heal spell, that it just gets a little bit too clumpy, a little bit too crampy, a little bit too slow and grindy in the matches, and it kind of ruins the flow of things. Number 12, invisibility card. Not invincibility, invisibility card. Uh, another popular request for a card idea, but they have no intentions right now of adding an invisible card of some sort or any mechanic uh, that's kind of along those lines of invisibility. So those are the not coming ideas, guys. We went over a lot. We went over 25 things that are not coming to the game in the next update. Let's talk about what is coming in the next update right now. So again, guys, before we get into this list here that you can see on the screen, I do have to give the disclaimer. This is not 100% official, but it is going on hints that the Clash team has dropped for us throughout the last few months. So number one, new tournaments. They said number one, their number one goal of this new upcoming update is going to be to completely revamp the tournament system right now. In terms of both availability of tournaments, it's very hard to get into tournaments unless you're paying. And in terms of the reward system, in basically a total revamp, uh, everything from top to bottom as far as tournaments go, they're very unhappy with how they are right now. So expect an entirely new system of tournaments. I'm really, really excited. I'm not sure if they'll change the format of the tournaments. They seem to actually like the private server aspect of tournaments, but there has been a decent amount of negative feedback regarding that. So it will be a 50-50 in terms of if they keep it as a private server in tournaments or if they change it into a bracket system. Now, me personally, I hate to ride the fence here, but I'd be thrilled either way. I actually don't mind this private server uh, element to tournaments right now. I like being able to really grind for an hour. I mean, it's not too grindy because it's only an hour long, but at the same time, can afford to fail once or twice and still come out on top of these tournaments. I actually like that aspect as well. So I think it really depends on what the team feels is the best format to benefit a global audience of over a million players. I mean, that's a lot to handle and brackets might get a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit hard to manage when you're talking about a million people. So it really depends. I'm not sure I don't have a strong preference either way, but I expect to see an entire new format for the tournament area, tournament feature, I should say, in the game. So number two, a log buff. So I think they'll be adding the pushback effect to the log on the rest of the mid-size units in terms of like the prince and the dark prince and stuff like that. I think they'll be able to be pushed back by the log just as barbarians and knights are right now. I think that was intended to be added to the last update and for whatever reason just wasn't. So I think that will be coming in terms of the log buff. Uh, number three, legendary cards. I have that written down, but basically Basically, that's the big improvement they want to add in terms of the availability of legendary cards to players who aren't paying a lot of money. I think this is very, very important, if not for me personally, to the long-term viability and sustainability of the game long-term. Now, right now, there's a really cosmic gap in terms of free-to-play players and players who spend a lot of money. And right now, that has to be narrowed in terms of the long-term viability, like I said, for the game to succeed overall. If you look at Clash of Clans, a game that I'm very familiar with, uh, the free-to-play player, if they invest enough time, they can realistically actually hang with somebody who's spending a little bit of money. And right now in Clash Royale, you could be playing for six hours a day, and someone who drops $100 or even $50 or even $20 could have you blown out of the water in terms of gains. And right now, there's just a too big of a gap between the free-to-play and between people who spend a lot of money. That needs to be narrowed, and a big part of that will be a a much easier availability of a legendary cards. Now, I don't know how they would exactly work this, but even the idea of unlocking legendary cards being easier and then leveling them up still being difficult works for me. I think that's a, a nice happy medium. You obviously don't want to devalue all the cards that people already spent money on too, too much, but you have to find a way to make these legendary cards available to people who aren't spending a ton of money and just want to be on equal level playing field with other players in at least one or two of the features in the game, whether it be tournaments or even friendly battles. You gotta at least make these cards available to players, even if they're unlocked at certain arenas as you progress throughout the game, or if 
there's very hard achievements that lead to unlocking of new legendary cards. There's really a million great ideas, probably way better than those ones, but either way, something's gotta give. The free-to-play players need a little bit more love in this game, so the grind is not as tedious. Uh, 20 years or something like that, till you get a max deck being free-to-play, that's, that's absolutely insane. So, moving on, uh, for new cards, I do think there will be new cards. Now, that has not been alluded to by the Royale team. The rest of these has been, but the new cards I'm just speculating on because it's been three months since we've seen new cards. That's the longest wait so far, so I'd anticipate at least a few new cards added to the game. Number five, Friendly Battle. Uh, the Clash Royale team has commented on Reddit a few times, alluding to the fact that they want to make improvements to the Friendly Battle feature. Now, there could be a number of different things they do to that to make it a little bit easier or more fun to use. A couple of the ideas that have been suggested in terms of Friendly Battles are A, making rules for the Friendly Battle, like no legendaries or no air troops or all air troops or something like that, and B, being able to issue Friendly Battles outside your own clan to your friends or people on your friend list. So, a lot of ideas regarding the Friendly Battle feature. Number six, training camps. They've said, actually, I believe Galadon said in his video, in his, up, his last update uh, speculation video, that he had a private conversation with the Clash Royale team, and they told him that the training camp was something that was very, very, very underused, almost not used at all in the game, and they're trying to change that. So they're going to revamp the entire training camp system, or at least that was their plans initially, to revamp the entire training camp system, hopefully add a, uh, a cool new feature that actually makes the training camp useful for players. So I think we will be seeing an completely new and revamped training camp that might not be this update. This might not all be this update, but I would expect these things to be coming in the next update or the one after that. Number seven, the new arena. I think it's time for a new arena, and the reason I say that is because they're raising the trophy limit to 4,000 resets starting next season. That will coincide around the date, maybe, of this new update that will be coming. Maybe of the sneak peeks, or maybe it will be even longer than that. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, if you look back through history and look at the two major updates they've added so far, where they've added new cards to the game after a, a two or three month wait each time, uh, you, we saw a new arena in both of those updates. So we saw obviously Builder Workshop added, and then we saw Frozen Peak added in the second update. So I do hypothesize there will be another, a third additional new arena added to the game in this next update. Then to finish off the list guys, we see the muting emotes option. We already know about that. There will be a mute option for emotes. In number nine, the trophy changes that we already reviewed as well. There's going to be a, a higher floor, excuse me, a higher ceiling for the reset after the season. Instead of 3,000 cups, it's going to be 4,000 cups. That should go into effect this season, actually, right before the update. And this will go hand in hand with the easier progression trophy changes where they change it from a zero sum game for arenas four, five, and six in the last balance change update. So guys, that is going to do it for the list of things that will not be coming and the list of things that should be coming. And before I let you go, let's pop in on the community cork board, the newest segment in Clash with Ash. If you guys want to ask a question or give a clan or channel shout out, hit me up at cwabasedesign at yahoo.com. Here it is. Hey, what's up, Ash? I was wondering if you were ever going to play the game Hearthstone. And also, I got a shout out for my clan, Puff and Gems. Check me on YouTube, Dex the Chief. And that's all. Peace. Hey Dex the Chief, thank you for your audio submission. I'll go ahead and include a link to his YouTube channel in the description below, guys, if you want to check it out. I watched one video, and it seems to be very nice content and very well edited as well. So, uh, to answer his question, I've never played Hearthstone, believe it or not, although I've certainly uh, heard of it and I'm pr pretty familiar with the game. So I will check it out and let you guys know what I think on my next Clash Royale video on the Community Corkboard. So guys, thank you so much for listening, and as always... Take care, guys.